Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey YouTube, it's Mortimer, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today I'm playing a new game that's really popular online right now. It's called Firewatch, and uh, I'm very excited to play it. I've been seeing some pictures of the art, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm not really much of a camping girl, but I love nature. So I'm excited to see how this game plays out. And I hope I can play with my... Um, Game controller, because if I need to switch to the keyboard, I'll switch to the keyboard. But, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Panic Ink. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Already liking the coloring? You see, Julia. Yes. Oh, I added a button. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your major, you know? So what's your, you know, major or you, you're pretty? Nah, you should ask what her major is. You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Ouch, burn. Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Reach out your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. It's kind of cool. She sounds like a cool chick. Alright, so... What is that to use objects? Oh, okay. Pick up. Oh, 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 it's saying right click to use objects. Okay, so I have to play with the mouse. Let me, let me switch it up a little bit. Okay. All right, got that backpack. Checking it out. Ooh, okay. Uh, I think the keyboard would probably help a bit too, you know, just to just to walk around a little bit. Wow, the attention to detail. It's just like a parking garage. I'm guessing that's our car, huh? Red car, red backpack. Dude, all about that fire watch. You, you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You do drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Yeah, that sounds like a really good life. Julia wants to get a dog. Who doesn't want a dog, Julia? There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to, with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Dude. Uh, let's, let's get the German Shepherd, because I love German Shepherds. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet, all rolled into one. Aw, that's sweet. Mayhem. 1979, you talk her... You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids are not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Uh, yeah, why rush? One day. You got all the time in the world, right? She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. Yeah, because women only have a timeline to have babies. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. That's kind of weird. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? One day. Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. That's pretty cool. Dude, he's living the life. Do 
You never can check in. No fireworks. Warning. Thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Beautiful. Um. So where do we go? I guess we can walk down the trail, huh? Oh, this is so nice. I mean, you could go outside in real life, but why would you want to when you can do it in virtual reality life? <laughs> oh, I love it. It's a Thursday night, 1980, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh, I hope nothing bad happens to Julia. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh, when you fight when she gets in the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her. Um, nah, you ignore her. She's, she's having a good time. Let her do her thing. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Yeah, you should never go to bed, bed angry at someone. 1981, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man, or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Pose and flex like He-Man. You look fucking awesome. Aw, oh, something's gonna happen to Julia. Why is it all red? Why is it all red? Oh, it was a sunset. I see, I see. Gorgeous. This game is making me want to go for a walk in nature right now, for real. Two forks. Oh, we're gonna have to do a fork in the road? Yeah, we got this. Ooh, ooh, dead sun. 1982, during the summer, summers, you and Julia and Joel are walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Jesus Christ. May, me, moo, fuck, da da dog. Julia yells. She gets flushed and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You comfort the, you confront the attacker. You do not comfort the attacker. Uh, yeah. Should we scare him away? Should we beat his face in? Let's scare him away. You reach into your pockets like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks you to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Aww. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, that's fucking hard. You can't let her not live her life. I agree if she commutes back and forth. That's asking a lot, though. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Oh, that's tough, man. That's hard. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave and having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that weren't important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Holy shit. Julia's stressed. She's found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk about it. Talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink while trying to forget about it. Nah, you should talk to somebody about that. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Holy shit. Wow. That's fucking devastating. Oh, as you're drawing. You posing like he man. No. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 
1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in date in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. No. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her, her fa- you tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It stays with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you were determined to take care of her by yourself. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Oh, that was really nice how it started up there. That's really beautiful. Holy shit. Oh, this is really heavy. All right, well, next time on another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, uh, hopefully this game takes a turn, because um, this is not really much of a game, but kind of clicking and feeling sad. Uh, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it. And I'll see you guys all next time on another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Bye, everybody.